Hey everyone, this is Professor Oaks and this video is about applications of percent, sales tax, and discount. So here is the first example here. Selena purchased a sweater for $17, pants for $20, and shoes for $32. The tax rate is 5%. Calculate the total amount due to the nearest cent. All right, so first I need to figure out the total that Selena spent, and she spent $17 on a sweater plus $20 on pants plus $32 on shoes. So Selena spent in total, that would be 7 plus 2 is 9, and then 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6, so $69. And so the, the uh, total amount due would be the, the total... Right, the total that she spent on the items, so the total spent on the items, all right, plus the amount of the of the tax. All right, so the tax is five percent. So we need to have five percent of sixty nine dollars. So that means that we need to figure out what amount, so we'll call that X out of $69, will be 5% out of 100. All right, so I will let you solve that on, on your own, but I will tell you what it is right now. So X will be 3.45. So that means the tax was $3.45. So that means that this is going to be $69 plus $3.45. So if I add that together, I get $72.45. So that is the total amount that Selena would, would have due. All right, so let's try another one. Uh, Miko wants to buy a game that costs... $75. If the tax rate is 6%, how much will the game cost with tax? So first of all, we know that the, the uh, cost of the game with tax will be the, the $75 right, plus the amount of the tax. So Again, to find the amount of the tax, we just need to find 6% of $75. So that's saying that what amount out of $75 is 6% out of 100. So I'll let you do that again on, on your own, but I will tell you what this is right now. And it is uh, 4.5. So that means $4.50. So that means that this cost of the game for Miko will be $75 plus the $4.50 tax. So it's $79.50. What a time to be alive. That's more than I would pay for a game, but that's okay. Miko must be loaded over there. All right, let's try another example here. Raja bought school supplies for $9.95. If the tax rate is 7.2%, how much did she pay for the supplies? So the, the amount that, that she paid for the supplies, so the, the cost of the supplies with the tax will be the $9.95 plus the amount of the tax. All right, so plus the amount of the tax. But we know we just need to find 7.2% of the $9.95. So that will be X 
out of $9.95 will be 7.2% out of 100. So I will do that for you, but just try to remember that that you should practice doing the the calculation on on your own, but this will be all right, this will be 0.7164. All right, so now just remember that we need to round this to the nearest cent. So to the nearest cent, this is a six. So I'm going to round this up to a, a uh, 72 cents. All right, so we have 9.95 plus 72 cents. And $9.95 plus $0.72 cents is $10.67. So there we go. There is the cost of Raja School Supplies with the tax. All right. So if the tax rate is 8.5%, how much tax we paid on a purchase of $88? So the amount of the tax. All right. So to figure that out, we just need to figure out 8.5% of $88. So this will be uh, X out of 88 is 8.5 out of 100. So just try to remember to practice this on, on your own. But then X is 7.48, which would mean that it's $7.48. All right, so now here is another great example. Ali wants to buy a computer that cost $3,102. And if the tax rate is 5.5%, how much will he pay for the computer with tax? So the cost of the computer with the tax is going to be $3,102, the cost of the computer, plus the amount of the tax. All right, so, so I know that the amount of the tax is going to be $3,102. All right, and we want 5% of that, or 5.5% of the $3,102. So, I'll set this up as X out of $3,102 equal 5.5% out of 100. And again, I'll let you solve this. So I will tell you what it is, but you should definitely practice on your own. So this will be, what will it be? It will be, all right. So, oh yeah. So X will be 107.61 which means it's $170.61. So if I add that amount of the tax to the cost of the computer, then I end up with $3,272.61. What a time to be alive, right? All right, so here is another question, and the rest of these questions will be about discounts rather than the the sales tax so the amount of the discount or the sales price all right so an outdoor sports store is having a 25 percent off sale if the sleeping bag you want regularly cost 185 dollars what is the sales price so the sale price will be the the uh, cost of the the item of the sleeping bag minus the amount of the discount and we know that the discount was was actually 25% of the $185 so the amount of the discount is is 25% of $185. So I'll set this up same as before. X out of 185 is 25 out of 100. And I will, excuse me, let you solve this on your own. All right, but then I will tell you that X is 
46.25, which means that the discount is $46.25. So that means that the original cost of the sleeping bag regularly, so this is a regular cost of the sleeping bag, was $185 minus the discount of $46.25. So if I subtract those, I get that the sales price is $138.75. So there it is. All right, what a time to be alive. Let's try another one. Tony and her family ate dinner at a restaurant. The total of the bill was $100.40, and they left a 15% tip. How much did they leave for the tip? Well, the tip is going to be then... What is it going to be? It will be 15% of their total bill, $101.40. So, well, that would be X out of $101.40 and 15% out of 100. So then I will solve this. But again, you should practice solving these on your own. All right. So don't let me stop you from practicing. So then that will be... Uh, X is 1521 or fifteen dollars and twenty one cents. So that was the amount of the tip that Tony and the their cheap family left because I would normally leave at least twenty percent. So you can tell Tony's family I said that they were cheap. All right, so let's try this one here. A shirt that regularly cost sixty five dollars is on sale for forty five percent off. What is the sale price? So the sale price, again, is the regular cost of the item or of the shirt minus the amount of the discount, all right? So the amount of the discount. And then if I look at this, the amount of the discount was going to be 45% of $65, so that's X out of 65 is 45 out of 100, and I'll let you solve this just like in the other problems, so X will be $29.25, or X was 29 25 and we have $29.25, so the regular cost of the shirt was $65, we subtract off the amount of the discount, $29.25. So if we subtract these amounts here, we have $35.75. What a time to be alive. I still wouldn't buy that shirt even at that awful high price. All right. So now let's try another one. Jordan had $30 and bought a a shirt that cost $28.50. If the tax rate was 4%, how much change did Jordan receive? All right, so what do we need to know? Well, we know that the, the cost of the shirt was $28.50. So what we need to do is find the, the total spent on the, the shirt, but with the tax included. So that will be the cost of the shirt plus the amount of the tax, right? So we have, all right, so the tax is 4% of $28.50. So X out of $28.50 will be 4% out of 100. So then I'll go ahead and calculate that that just like I have been, but again, try that on your own. That will be 1.44 or a dollar and 14 cents. So the cost of the shirt is $28.50 plus $1.14. So if I add that together, I get that, that uh, what Jordan is paying $29.64, but Jordan had. $30, so that's what he gave the, say, the cashier for the shirt. So Jordan, Jordan, 
Jordan's change will be the, the $30 minus the amount that he paid, including the tax. So minus $29.64. So that will leave Jordan with 36 cents left and an overpriced shirt. All right, so there we go, 36 cents left. What a time to be alive. All right, so one last example here. I hope that you're really enjoying these examples on sales tax and discounts here. So at a jewelry store, Danielle bought a ring for $925 and paid an additional $64.75 in sales tax. What was the sales tax rate? All right, so how do we figure this out? Well, we know that the sales tax, right? All right, the sales tax, we've always calculated it as the sales tax was the amount out of the total was equal to the, the percent of the tax or the rate of the tax. All right, so the sales tax, the amount of the sales tax was the over the total was the percent or the rate of the tax out of 100, right? All right, so now we know that we had, now try to remember this, that, all right, so we have uh, 64, 75 out of 925 equals, we don't know the percent, so let's make that X out of 100. So you can solve this just like you have in the past, just that X is the percent missing this time and not the the amount of the, uh, the tax that's missing, all right? So then X is 0 0.07 times 100 or, or 7, so we have 7%. All right, so this is 7% tax on this already overpriced ring that Danielle bought. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video on applications of percent and sales tax and discounts and that you are already looking forward to the next video. Thank you and have a great day.